Hey guys, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I hope you are doing well today. Thanks for stopping by. And I have a little quick tip for you today because I got to thinking, you know, I make a lot of gift bags for different things and, you know, teach you guys how to make gift bags. And, um, you know, after all, it is just paper. But if you want to put something heavier in, um, like say we had a little bit bigger bag and we wanted to put a few lotion bottles or something in that was particularly heavy, sometimes we're worried about the bottom of our box being supported. So here's a quick tip for you. You can go ahead and grab some chipboard and measure the bottom of your box. Um, in this case, we have um, about three inches by one and three quarters, I'll say, because we want to go just under uh, what the measurement is so that we clear the sides here and don't, don't make it stick out in a funny way. So measure the bottom of your box and cut a piece of chipboard to that measurement. And if I can get my ruler put away, um, that way you can see here, and this is just off some scrap that I had from um, some homeschooling backing there of some papers, and you can see it fits at the bottom of your box. So you can simply put that in. We can decorate it with uh, scrapbook paper if you don't like just the raw chipboard. And then you can just stick your hand in. This is a bag that I made using Stampin' Up! Uh, by the Tide stamp set. And on my envelope punch board, or my bag punch board, and whatever it's called <laughs> from We Are Memory Keepers. But anyway, so now I have it inside there, if you can see that. And again, if you don't like how that looks, just cover it with paper, no big deal. Or stamp on it or something. Um, and then we can slip our lotion in there, and then it has some support for the bottom that won't easily poke through uh, our bottom of our bag. And then you can simply uh, decorate. In this case, I have some different little sprayed cutouts and... Um, tags and whatnot, and I've just taken all of them with a piece of twine, and uh, this was a bag I was experimenting on, and then you can just use a smaller paper clip or peg than this is, but, um, and then just clip it on there. I would use a mini one. <laughs> this one's kind of a big honking <laughs> laundry peg there, but, um, anyway, uh, that you get the idea that now there's a little extra support there on the bottom for heavier items, especially if you put something like a candle in there, um, something with, uh, you know, weight to it. We don't want it busting through the bottom of our bag. So just a little quick tip there for you to go ahead and put uh, a little piece of chipboard on the bottom, and that'll help support your gift. All right, guys, hopefully that is helpful to you, especially with the holiday season coming up here very swiftly. Uh, go ahead and hit like if you like quick tips, and subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you want to visit my website, again, that's CynthiaMainer.com. Have a great day.